This is a video to show how to use Mantra Court's D-Cell DSC Evaluation Kit RS485. The kit contains a D-Cell and DSC, DSC manual, which on Chapter 2 details getting started with the evaluation kit, a CD containing Instrument Explorer, the software for interfacing with your device, A DSJ1, this either has a DSC or a D cell fitted equally underneath there, depending on the choice of evaluation kit you've made. Also, a temperature sensor for temperature compensation. An RS232 to 485 adapter. An interconnecting cable from the DSJ1 to the RS485 adapter and finally an RS232 cable to link to the COM port on your PC. To use your evaluation kit you will require a power supply, a PC with an available RS232 COM port and a load cell as an input signal. To use the DSJ1 you'll take the power cable and communications cable and that will link the RS232 connection to the RS485 connection on your DSJ1, as well as supplying power to the adapter and to the DSJ1. The temperature sensor can be linked in here as well, and the RS232 connection taken from the adapter to the PC. On the PC, you'll need to install Instrument Explorer, which is the software that MantraCore provides for easy interface and evaluation. Here the DSJ1 is attached to a power supply providing 10 to 18 volts. 10 volts is the minimum voltage for the RS232 to 485 converter. The RS232 to 485 converter is attached to the PC via the available COM port and the RS485 connection comes back to the DSJ1 Junction 1 RS485 COM port. Additionally attached is the temperature sensor and a load cell attached to junction 2 of the DSJ. Set up all of your hardware. You can then install the software on your PC, Instrument Explorer. Then on Instrument Explorer I need to select either the ASCII, Mantra bus or CAN bus device that I have attached to my DSJ1. The DSC version 3 is what I have in the ASCII format. I then select the port, which is COM port 4, and the speed, which is 115200, and click OK. Then synchronize all the parameter values, which means you have a successful connection to your DSC or D cell. I can then watch the value, the instantaneous value from the D cell. To do this, I go to here and configure the watch. What I want to watch is sys, sys, click add and close. Then in the watch window here I see a value. If I then run the watch by clicking the tool here, then the value here instantaneously changes and I can apply and remove weight and see the value change. If I stop the watch, the value stops changing. To perform a calibration, I would go into the wizard and system calibration auto. The first window advises you that you'll need two values, what you'll want as your zero and what you'll want as a significant next value. So with nothing on my load cell, I want an output of zero, and with one can of drink on my load cell, I want an input of one. I then click next, and the value is one when there's a can on, and zero when the can's off. If I click finish, it then synchronizes those calibration details into the device.
I can then restart the watch and the value here is zero. If I buy a can of drink, it goes up to one. You can also use hyperterminal to attach to your device. Here I have a fresh window of hyperterminal, name my connection DSC, select the COM port, COM port 4, the speed of the COM port, again 115200, flow control is none, data bits 8, parity none, stop bits 1, and click OK. I then go file and properties and go to the ASCII setup. Then I want to send lines with, with line feeds and append in and listen to what I'm typing locally. Then to receive a value from it, it's as simple as pling or exclamation mark 001, which is the station number of this device, and then sys question mark. I then receive back the value that is from that device. If I apply a can to that and then repeat the same command, pling 001, sys question mark, then I get a value of 1 back. Similarly, I can also request the temperature by going pling 001 temp question mark and I receive back the temperature. If I send a command that the device does not understand, so 001 DSC, I receive back a question mark, which means that the command was not understood and there's no valid response.